basically complaining about my hair. You got to admit, everybody in the pandemic last year was on Netflix, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't have nothing else to say. I think I more or less said it there. Um, okay. And we're back, guys. Welcome back to the Ricky Tura podcast, episode 54. And we're here. It's a Wednesday. Thank you guys for taking your time out to listen to me, whatever you're doing. If you're sat in front of your computer screen, if you've got your headphones in, if you're on a jog, if you're at work, if you're cleaning, eating, watching YouTube videos at the same time, I don't know. But thank you um, for listening, really. Um, and I'm very grateful, and as you guys can tell now, you know, whoever listens to me, you know, I'm I'm very grateful for who just whoever listens, you know, I'm... I'm not a fussy guy when it comes to content. Whoever likes my content likes it. Whoever dislikes it dislikes it. Whoever listens to it once listens to it once. If you're here forever, you're here forever. Like, I'm just doing me. Um, but, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say because I did say it last time on the episode, um, but I really wanted to fit it into this episode today. And that is the one year anniversary of the Ricky Turo podcast. Uh, it was actually last Thursday um, that it was the first year that I've done it properly, like every Wednesday in a row. And I know I did one on a Thursday, but it was still in the same week. So yeah, I just I, this is basically like a, it'll be like a different type of episode, kind of. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the stuff that I've done over the past year on the podcast, kind of like a reflection episode, and I might go into a couple of um, just mini, mini topics. Um, I might not even discuss it, who knows, because I haven't got no notes again, guys, so just bear with me on this as I'm going to be talking from the top of my head uh, in this one, but um, I might talk about a couple of mini topics if I've run out of things to say about this one year uh, reflection uh, but before we start um, yeah it's it's it was cloud it's cloudy today in the UK um, you know I've got to bring weatherman Rick um, shout out to everybody that just listens to this for weatherman Rick I don't think anybody does but yeah a bit cloudy today it was warm the past couple of days a little bit colder today you know trees are still leafless <laughs> But, yeah, that's all I can say. It's cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, I've got a delivery day today, so I'll please do not rain whilst I'm picking stuff up. Um, but, yeah, um, let's let's just dive straight into this episode, guys, because, like I said, it's going to be a reflection kind of episode, so I won't be talking about many things. Like I said, if I get time, I'll talk about some mini stuff at the end. Um, but I'm going to be looking like for the people that are watching this on YouTube, I'm going to be looking at my computer screen for most of this episode. Um, I'll try to look back at the camera as well, but I just want to go through all the episodes that I've done so far, uh, from episode one. I'm not going to go through every single episode. I'm going to go and talk about some of the key episodes, um, that I liked, um, as well. So I should have been more prepared for this and started right at the beginning, but don't worry. We'll start from the first one. I might open up YouTube as well because sometimes I can't remember what I said. And if I see the thumbnail or the YouTube video, I might remember it better. Um, so if I go into that. Okay, guys. So let's dive into the one year reflection. Um, so, yeah, I started um, on the 14th of April. Um, 2020 and that was basically uh, an untitled um, kind of podcasting and that was basically I, I'm not going to lie because I was quite new to Anchor at the time the app I honestly thought that that was going to be like the opening for each and every episode so I talked into my phone and I said you are now listening to the Ricky Tura podcast or something along them lines and it was only it's only like twelve seconds long, and it's got twenty players, so fair play to any, anybody that's uh, <laughs> heard that. But I thought that was something that was uh, 
that I was going to play at the beginning of every episode, but it was just a one-off thing, probably just to describe what the podcast was about, but I haven't changed it since, so it's still there. It's got 20 plays. Um, so yeah, shout-outs to anybody that's seen uh, or listened to that. Um, but yeah, it kind of started off there. Um, but the 15th of April um, was uh, a key you know, episode, because I started it all off, and I believe that it's the start that's always the hardest, and I kind of just, it was only, how long was it, it was only a five minute, well five minute, one second episode, um, and it's one of my f- most viewed, it's called Introduction to Myself, it's got 21 plays, I uploaded it on the 15th of April, um, before I actually um, gather my thoughts together for that episode, a fun fact about this, uh, it actually shows up as third on probably all the podcast platforms because um, I originally uploaded it on the 15th of April but for me being stupid I didn't know how to work the Anchor app and I thought I deleted the episode but I didn't Um, but in order to re-upload it because I deleted it off the podcast but it was still on my phone um, in in an archive section or something like that, so I had to re-upload it, so that's why it was, that's why it says for the majority of podcast platforms, the 1st of May 20, um, because my stupid self um, did not um, do it on time, you know, I I should have just worked it better, but anyway, so that's why it comes up third, but that is the first episode really, Um, and it doesn't say 15th of April next to it anymore, but I know I uploaded it on the 15th of April. I think on my YouTube channel it it says under there as well. Uh, But yeah, I've talked about the first episode loads of times. Um, But yeah, that was just the episode. Just me to get used to everything. I had my phone. um, Just press play. And I didn't think about anything. I didn't think about what I was going to talk about. I just basically flicked my camera on. And just spoke really. Um, It was the start of a pandemic. So I talked a bit about that. I talked a bit about what other magicians are doing. Um, and I kind of had a plan of what I was going to talk about in the next few episodes. Um, in my head, I didn't really write notes, probably for the first few episodes. Um, but from like episode three onwards, um, I put some sort of notes together. Um, but now I can kind of just talk at the top of my head like this. But I do prefer notes as well. But this does take time. Me talking to you guys on the camera. Um, As from the first episode. I was pretty nervous. Even staring into the lens of the camera. uh, And just talking like this. So it it does help. um, For anyone out there. That you know kind of. Wants to improve their communication skills. And I think it's perfect during this time. That we're living in as well. Um, With the pandemic. And you can't go out as much. Um, I feel like if you talk, it's kind of like the old school way. Remember, like at primary school, like when you when you want to talk in front of the class and the teacher says, "Oh, always practice in a mirror and stuff like that to yourself." Well, this is kind of like the updated version of that, really. Like if you if you're not good talking to um, people, like in front of people and stuff, um, you know, talking into a camera and then. Um, recording yourself and then playing it back that's probably one of the best things that I would um, give advice that I'd give to you guys Um, but yeah that was just a a little introduction to myself I said who I was um, you know what I was a magician and you know what other magicians were doing in the pandemic and stuff like that Um, the second episode uh, so I kind of wanted to make it a weekly thing so you guys know that I upload every Wednesday Um, so the second episode uh, was how I got into magic, and I believe still to this day that's probably one of my most viewed episodes. Let me just double check. Um, how I got into magic, yeah, yeah, 26 plays. That's still to this day uh, my most viewed, uh, well, listened to podcast. Um, so that's got 26 plays, and that was uploaded on the 22nd of April. Um, so yeah, I think. That was probably why I started the podcast. Oh, bear with me. Oh, that coffee, man. Um, So, yeah, how I got into magic. I just wanted to get my origin story, like, from the get-go. Like, 
like when you read a comic and you're introduced to like a hero or a villain, you kind of know their origin story and it gets you you to know them a bit better. So that's basically what I wanted to do in the first like at least three to four episodes. I didn't want to jump into stuff like, oh, how I met Dynamo. Oh, you know how I practice magic. Like they're cool and stuff to talk about, but I wanted to get you to know about like the origin of myself, what I'm about, and then tell you and expand it over time. Um, so how I got into magic says it in the name, uh, Dynamo. How I it was a was a reason um, what I started doing, where I started practicing, and yeah, that was it's a it's a twelve minute episode, so it's a pretty short episode. And you guys know my episodes are about thirty to forty minutes now, um, but I was building myself up like from the first episode it was five minutes, from the second episode it was twelve minutes, and then jumping into the third episode. Um, which I kind of gave you in the first couple of episodes of one side of me. And now in that third episode, which is a big key episode as well, is another side of me working in the shop. Uh, that's got about 17 plays. And I did that one in the shop. Uh, that's the only Ricky Tura podcast episode that is done in the shop. And we're on episode 54. And um, yeah, it's that's the only one that's done in the shop and that was when did I say that was uploaded 29th so we're on the 19th of April when uh, sorry we're not on the 19th we're on the 21st of April um when I'm recording this podcast right now so that's basically a year from tomorrow no that's a week from tomorrow sorry so um it's crazy how like time has just absolutely flown um, this past year uh, as well that how I got into magic episode 22nd of April that's a year from tomorrow man like I was on episode 2 this time last year tomorrow and I'm on episode 54 now it's crazy man uh, but anyway jumping back into working in the shop episode uh, it was a 14 minute episode so we're getting you know the duration is getting bigger and I told you exactly I spoke from my heart in that episode basically like I had a few notes on a post-it note but I was just talking to you guys most of the time. Obviously, I was a little bit nervous then and I was saying I was rambling on and stuff. I might, in the future, do a working in the shop part two because I feel like family businesses and stuff, I'm very passionate about talking about that as well. Shout out to all the people that work in a family business um, as well, especially retailing shops. Um, I know a few people that work in shops with the parents or running shops, so... You know, I kind of got um, a, a good perspective in working in a family business, really, uh, as well. Um, but that working in the shop episode was a very key episode. And I felt like in episode one, two and three, that kind of geared the origin story about myself. Uh, and it, it kind of gave you guys a feel of like, OK, so Ricky's about this. He's a magician. He works in a shop. Um, OK, cool. Now what? Um, so that's where uh, I, I basically go into the magic really um, and that was my first ever gig um, that episode so I kind of gave you the origin story about my magic I gave you the origin story about the shop and now I'm kind of taking you on a journey into um, you know where I did my first gig and you know, I'm not going to go through all of these episodes one by one but I feel like the first few episodes are key um, so yeah, I basically talk about my first gig, um, how I felt, stuff like that, uh, and then I dive into, um, you know, I kind of shout out everyone, like I'm, I'm friends with these people, like, you know, I don't want to give too much away because you can listen to the episode as well, um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a great episode, and then I'm just going to go through the few, next few episodes, I talk about the Bradford Magic Circle, a magic club which I've joined, and then... I kind of start giving a little bit of advice early on, uh, performing at gigs, what I feel like. I, I can't remember if I actually give advice in that, but uh, I talk about myself performing at gigs. Uh, the process, that was the first ever episode that went over 20 minutes. Um, and that was basically, I told you what my goals and ambitions were um, from then. Um, and I basically told you what I want to achieve in that, that was a very um, opened up kind of episode, 
because working in the shop I was opening up, but the process was, was I told you like what I want to do, um, really what I want to achieve, uh, and the process, and I, I I kind of give you you know, the, an idea of patience, a little bit of patience in that as well, telling you that you know not everything comes at once, but anyway. The episode after that was meeting Dynamo. Of course, you guys know he was a key figure in me starting Magic. Uh, then after that, I talk about creativity in Magic. I start talking about how I put my videos together and stuff like that because I've made quite a few um, videos in the past, um, uh, Magic ones and stuff, which I really want to do again, by the way. So we're not ruling that out. Um, but I talk about like how my ideas got put together and stuff like that and then the episode after was kind of like a a two topic kind of episode my first tv and radio interviews and then plus music video cameos um so yeah i kind of talk about the magic again um how it got me on the on a on tv um how i got a radio interview and i i, I kind of dive into the process of how it happened um, I feel like I can do that in a podcast form, um, like if I just say on camera, yep, I've been on TV, yep, I've been on radio, job done, like, nah, man, like, it's all about just diving into it, and, um, you know, explaining a bit more, and maybe give you guys a feel of, you know, if you want to um, pursue anything in life, and what it's like being on first time on TV or radio, or something like that, but I just talk about everything from my perspective hence why the podcast is called the ricky tura podcast um but funny enough that episode the duration was 2020 so yeah after that i talk about blackpool magic convention you guys know about that i hope you've seen my vlogs on that as well uh, i go into some storytelling meeting Arjun. uh i go into performing on stage what it was like for my stage show um birthday special 15th of july that's my birthday um that was when i got my haircut as well i think i got my haircut a couple of days before um so you know we were back in the pandemic where you know barbers were closed well basically the barbers had just opened this time last week so it basically the same things happened again but it was kind of the first time i was i think every podcast episode before my birthday special i was basically complaining about my hair but this second time round, I couldn't really have cared you guys have seen me on the podcast and my hair's just growing but you know man's got the fresh trim now but back then the birthday special I thought you know what let's just talk at the top of my head and just see what's going on um because I was just um I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you I was a bit fed up I was like inside all the time I was working in the shop as well and it was like I wanted some time so I went out got a burger got a bite you know chilled out and it was my birthday so i wanted to talk to you guys so that was kind of a nice episode that and that's got 21 players on that so big up and shout out to anybody that's uh listened to that as well i, I really enjoyed that episode um yeah the, after that music and magic i talk about like how i love music and how i combine it with magic as well and if you've seen any of my videos on any socials i do that confidence in magic again man like ricky <laughs> um, giving advice out um, about being confident um, and then I go into four topics so on the f uh, what was that 5th of August I started going into a four topic um, kind of series podcasting I don't know uh, but I talk about the Dynamo Shuffle social media Netflix and performing live um that was quite a uh, interesting topic actually to talk about the Dynamo Shuffle and I feel like it'll help uh, a lot of magicians in the future. Of, obviously you can, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can kind of copy people you look up to but you kind of kind of do that at first but then kind of break out of that shell and kind of develop your own style over time. Uh, episode after that, dealing with Nose, Netflix series, David Hare and taking a break. I believe at that time I was watching a Netflix series called How to Sell Drugs Online Fast. It was like a German show on Netflix, which was pretty cool. I definitely recommend it. 
Um, that, but I couldn't probably fit the whole name in, so I named it Netflix series. Uh, talked about David Hay as well, how he reposted a video of mine in that. Uh, video after that, Ed Sheeran, small gigs are the best, Project Power and my blocked video. You know what, they were good times because, you know, uh, come on, you got to admit everybody in the pandemic last year was on Netflix, man. So I was just going through like quite a few movies at that time and Project Power, I think Jamie Foxx in that as well. Uh, small gigs are the best. To this day, yes, they are. I feel like the more um, personal you can go to more people, you can have a laugh, you can talk to more people. I'm, I'm talking about from a magician's point of view, like you could with close up magic and stuff. I just love small gigs as well. Nothing, nothing wrong with big gigs, but I just I, I love the the one to one or the group experience. The I like it to be more personal. Um, okay, after that, five pound munch editing college dropout. The Batman and Snyder cut trailers. Damn, Ricky. Okay, we went through a few topics in that one. Um, <laughs> uh, episode David Blaine practicing magic YouTube last minute planning. Yeah, let's um let's skip a few now because I I don't want to talk loads about that. Life is short. Um, what's a good one to do? Started watching One Division back then. I started talking a lot about TV shows and stuff, so you can kind of see um, that I wanted this podcast to be a range of things. I didn't want to make it narrow as well. Um, and I was talking a lot about content in some of them as well, but the thing is that I talked about my origin story, then I, I went off to other things that I did in Magic or in the shop, and now I'm kind of going, expanding even more into stuff that I'm listening to, watching uh, and stuff like that really so it's kind of um, kind of expanded this podcast really and that's exactly what I wanted to do but I needed to start off narrow at first and slowly um, just expand myself really into different topics so that's exactly what I've done here and it's took me about five months four or five months to do that really um, and in my head before I started, I thought, oh, it's going to take forever, but really, it didn't. And in the middle of like some topics, because I'm going through quite a few four topics, I was talking about still magic stuff as well. Um, I was talking about booking a magician. Uh, what other episodes was I doing? I was talking about Peacock Bar. Shout out to Peacock Bar, um, my gig that I had there. I was talking about boxing, sports, and stuff like that. Um, creating content was a big thing as well um taking a break um that was a key episode let me see what the thumbnail for that was i know all my thumbnails are the same but i felt like that was probably a key episode um taking a break i f think i was burnt out then you know i honestly i think i was um 18th of November I think it was heading towards Christmas and I'd, I'd actually worked pretty hard for content and stuff like that as well and I felt like I did need a break but I don't know I honestly I can't remember what I said in that episode but for me putting uh, just a one title in that uh, breaking away from the four topics I, I felt like that was a key episode uh, in that I might need to listen back to that because I, I, I honestly I don't listen back to any of my podcast episodes um, even when I'm editing and stuff, so whatever I say, I say. If I've said something wrong, honestly, you guys will be the first to know before me because I just upload it. Like, I don't cut anything in this. So this is just me talking to you. It's raw, really. Uh, the freestyle. Um, that was my first episode of 20... No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was just a December episode, the freestyle, my thoughts on everything. I probably just wanted to talk at the top of my head. I'll probably get fed up of the four topics, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, I was talking about football, fake magic. Um, I talked about that. You see, I was diving into loads of different topics. Last episode of 2020, that was the last ever episode that I didn't use a mic. So that was uh, 40 minutes and 50 seconds. I believe that was probably my most, um, lo my longest video, I believe. 
40 minutes. The last episode, legit, the last episode of 2020. I don't know what the hell I talked about in that. The test episode, we're, we're heading into 2021 right now. Uh, when magic goes wrong, um, right effects for the... Re- so I've started to, to dive into the first topic. First topic? The one topic kind of um, episodes again as well. Um, yeah, I, I can see the progression really. Uh, as well I'm not great but I'm trying and that's the main thing that I wanted to do my first zoom show that was pretty good to talk about as well um shout outs to Tesh for booking me for that um as well you know I I gave myself four weeks to do that and it wasn't great but I felt like I I pulled myself through it and uh, I had a few other things going on but we did it uh, as well, uh, how I stay motivated, I went to, yeah, I'm just talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier, Gary Vaynerchuk, that was a very key episode, that was a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, uh, and the random episode was last week, I think, I believe that was the last episode that I uploaded, wasn't it, no, there's one more, not making content, um, there we go, not making content, um, so yeah, that's basically it i need to stretch this out now oh man get a good stretch in after all of that we're about 25 minutes into this podcast episode um so yeah that was basically some i, I majority went through all of them didn't i and i said i wasn't gonna go through all of them but um yeah that's i can see the um progression and the evolution of this podcast actually because I, I i haven't been through all of them like I have now um, talking to you guys so uh, if you guys were interested in anything that I said in any of the episodes please check it out Um, I really do appreciate you guys Um, like I said I I do say this in a few episodes like episodes one two and three are key uh, even two and three Um, but if you guys were interested in anything that I was talking about like a Netflix TV show if I was reacting to something uh, please check it out or just check out my catalogue of podcast episodes at least um i know you guys will anyway um so yeah that's um that's basically it for my reflection on things um i think i'm gonna i I might stop it here actually because what else was i going to talk about i was going to talk about falcon and the winter soldier okay so I'm going to sign off just for this topic. I just need to check if I've got anything else to say. Um, I don't. I don't have nothing else to say. I think I more or less said it there. Um, But yeah, I've got... um, How many players now? 604 players. Um, So thank you to everybody that listens to me. Um, It's been a year. Um, We're on 54 episodes we're still going strong, even though, like I've said, that it's taking me a bit more time than usual to kind of um, go back up to the content creation and stuff. Um, you know, life is life. Life does get in the way. Um, but I'm not beating myself up, like I said in the last episode. Uh, and I feel like if anybody's out there that wants to start something and is overthinking about stuff, um, just take it one short step at a time. Try and break it into little blocks um so even if you're overthinking about how to start just break that down into how you can start about how starting uh, if you know what i mean um like i said at this it was a pretty good example how i started this off um i started off this podcast episode um this whole podcast sorry for episode one i started it off with just a 12 second introduction about uh, it was literally like a starter thing uh, i just said this is the ricky tour podcast like even before the first episode it, it was literally a 12 second clip um for the podcast uh, platforms and then i dove into a five minute episode so just start off small and work your way up because look at me i'm doing 30 minute to 40 minute episodes now i'm here i'm i'm a brown guy in 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 my bedroom with a light on and a mic in front of my face and I hardly do not know what I'm doing. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, so yeah, um, 
I think I'm going to sign off with that and I'm going to quickly talk about uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier because I don't think I'll be talking about it in the next couple of weeks um, so yeah let's dive into that so I'm going to make this a quick one um, but to all the Marvel fans out there Falcon and the Winter Soldier final I believe is this Friday um, I watched the last episode and it was just hella lit man um, I can't wait to see Falcon in his proper Wakandan Captain America style um, armour uniform whatever you want to call it and I have no idea what's going to happen in the last episode they were teasing the Thunderbolt kind of thing with um, that new character I forgot her name talking to uh, is it is he called US agent now because he's stripped of Captain America but anyway evil Captain America uh, and Zemo has gone to that little prison thing as well. But anyway, I'm excited to see what happens because Evil Captain America is back. Um he's created his own shield. And yeah, I just I don't know what to expect for the last episode. And you know Marvel with their with their post credit scenes, so I don't know what to expect on that. I'm just gonna turn my camera on and off before it cuts out. So yeah, I don't know what to expect for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, guys. Um, but I'm pretty excited. It's kind of made my Friday nights, you know. I'm not going to lie with WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I know Loki's going to come out in June as well. Um, so it's kind of made my Friday nights, really. Um, Marvel has. But anyway, I just wanted to keep that nice and short. Because uh, I'll probably do the last one on Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, next uh, week. But I'm just going to title this uh, One Year Reflection or something like that. Uh, and yeah, if you guys have made it this far, you know, tap yourselves on the back. Thank you for listening all the way. Um, make sure you like, subscribe or rate the podcast. Uh, catch me on YouTube as well. Um, at Ricky Tura uh, on all social media platforms. R-I-C-K-Y, number two, R-A. Um, and yeah... That's that's it for this episode. I'm happy with what I had to say at the top of my head. So thank you guys for listening. I will see you all next week. And have a great day or night, wherever you are.